If you have TBS Crossfire and you have a TBS Unified Video Transmitter, I have great news for you. There is a better way for you to manage your video transmitter than how you're probably doing it now. First of all, you're not pushing the little button on the VTX, right? No, surely you're using smart audio. And if you're using smart audio with your Betaflight flight controller, you know the wonderful pain that is VTX tables. Getting smart audio to work with the Betaflight flight controller can be a real hassle. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to hook your uh, unified video transmitter directly to your TBS Crossfire receiver and sidestep all that garbage and I'm going to show you a feature in TBS Crossfire called My VTX that lets you automatically set all your video transmitters to the same band and channel without ever, just the minute they power up, they're just on the band and channel that you want. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. I have a confession to make about this video. I originally learned about this feature because Immersion RC Ghost has a similar feature and I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. And I said on a live stream, I, this, I don't think this has ever been done before. If this has ever been done before, then you tell me in the comments. And they did. And they said, well, actually, TBS has this feature called MyVTX that does exactly what you're talking about. And it came out before Immersion RC Ghost. And I said, okay. My bad. Kudos, TBS. So one of the things we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you this just to make up for the fact that I said TBS wasn't the first to do this. But also, I'm going to put a link down in the video description to my video about Ghost's version of the same thing because I want you to watch both of them because Ghost can do a couple things that I don't think TBS can do and I want you to compare them if you're trying to decide which one like is the best. But let's take a look first at just like what this feature does and then I'll show you how to set it up. Here's my radio and if we go into the tools menu you'll see I've got the TBS Agent Lite Lua script. TBS Agent Lite is a new way of managing. If you've ever used the older TBS Crossfire Lua script it's kind of a little janky. TBS Agent Lite is a new way of managing all TBS stuff from your radio. I've got a video about how to install TBS Agent Lite on your radio. If you haven't done that, you need to do that. I'll put a link in the video description, of course. So I'm gonna run TBS Agent Lite, and at the moment, my video transmitter is not powered up. So all I'm gonna see here is my Crossfire Micro TX module and Crossfire Wi-Fi, which is in the Micro TX module. And if I go in the Micro TX module, one of the options that I see here is my VTX. If you've never hooked a video transmitter up to your Crossfire receiver, you might not see that. I'm, I, I can't go, I can't rewind time and see if that option, I don't remember seeing that option there before. I'm gonna show you how to set up your video transmitter and hook it up to your receiver, and then you should have that option if you don't have it now. When I go into my VTX, the first thing I want you to see is whether my VTX is active. And by default, it's not active, and that means that your video transmitter is just on whatever channel it's on. But I'm gonna make my VTX active, so I'm gonna hit the menu and, oh, my, my screen is covering up the menu. Well, you kinda gotta see that. Let's move it over here. No, that's covering up the sys menu. Ah! Is that going to work? Damn it. Okay, I got it. So I'm going to make my VTX active. Uh, change that to yes, active. And then I'll have the option to change these settings here. And basically, whatever you set here, as soon as the video transmitter powers up, if the video transmitter is wired and configured correctly, I'll show you that later, then it will take on these settings. For example, right now I have my screen set to race band 8. So I'm just going to take my band and channel, I'm gonna change that to race eight, and my power, I'm gonna set that to 25 milliwatts. I don't wanna overheat the video transmitter, or maybe I'm at a race and I just know all my video transmitters need to be at 25 milliwatts. Or maybe I'm freestyling and I just know all my video transmitters need to be at max power. I'm gonna set that however I want it. And then I'm going to power up the video transmitter. Just a moment. There it is. 
What channel was it on? Don't know. Don't care. Doesn't matter. Let's do it again. I'm going to power down the video transmitter. Now we'll go in here and we'll change this to race, uh, race one. And I'm going to power up the video transmitter. And... Oh, you saw it there for a second, didn't you? So this is one thing about this system that maybe could be slightly better. Like if I set that to race eight or race one or whatever, then I don't want the video transmitter to transmit at all on whatever channel it was on. Because it might blast somebody who's up in the air right now. So. It looks like it transmits very, very briefly on the old channel and then very quickly moves to the new channel. And if I just switch over to race one, boom, there it is. Now, if you're not already like super excited about this, what, why not? Why aren't you excited about this? Imagine showing up at a race and you've got maybe three or four quadcopters that you brought to a race or showing up at just a fun fly out at a park. What channel are you guys I, am I, Is race eight free? Okay, I'm on race eight. You just go into your radio you set it to race eight, and then you know that all of the quadcopters you brought with you, you don't have to think about what channel they... Did I change this one? Hold on, guys. I got to change my channel. No, I just switched quads. Yeah, sorry. Just wait one second while I change channel. Just the minute you power up, it's just going to go to race eight. Super cool. Now, I also want to show you a couple other things. Oh, there it is. I also want to show you a couple other things you can do if you wire your video transmitter to your Crossfire receiver, like, you're, like I'm going to show you how to do. Because I, I alluded at the beginning of the video that there are two basic ways to manage your video transmitter. One is to wire it to the flight controller and use smart audio. And then you have to deal with VTX tables and so forth. But the advantage of that method is that in your goggles, in your OSD menu, for example, you can change those settings. In the Betaflight Lua script, you can change those settings. In the Betaflight Video Transmitter tab, you can change those settings. And there are other settings like, for example, low power disarm. That's a beta flight feature where when you first power up the quadcopter, it puts the video transmitter at 25 milliwatts. And then after you arm the quad, it goes to full power. That's a feature that isn't directly available if you connect the video transmitter to the Crossfire receiver, like we're talking about doing in this video. However, there are some really cool things that are available here that aren't available through beta flight. Let's take a look. So I'm going to go down in this menu in the TBS Agent Lite script. I'm going to highlight the Unify Pro 32 Nano, which I can see because it's connected to my Crossfire receiver. You can't see that when it's connected to the flight controller. And I can see all these options for this video transmitter. For example, I can, of course, change the band, channel, and power here. And if you didn't want to use the My VTX feature, you could just manually set the band, channel, and power right from this part of the script. You can change the temperature limit, the temperature at which it will begin to reduce power if like you wanted it to stay cooler, maybe. You could lower that temp limit. Uh, pit mode, you could turn pit mode on and off. Uh, there's the ability to select an aux channel that lets you turn pit mode on and off. Um, so this is similar to low power disarm in Betaflight, but instead it's going to be just handled directly. And by the way, if you don't have a flight controller, if you've got like an airplane without a flight controller, uh, yeah, why aren't you doing this? Because this makes all this, you can't do this any other way. Um, so we could do pit mode on an aux channel, and that's just which aux channel it will watch to see if it should put pit mode on or off. Does the aux channel need to be high or low to activate pit mode? I don't actually know, but you can figure it out. It's not that hard. Um, you can see the firmware version and you can even lock and unlock the vtx you know that annoying button press you got to do to unlock the vtx well you can actually do it through tbs agent light if you wire it up this way well okay you're sold this is an awesome feature and you want to take advantage of it how do you do it the first thing you got to do is wire up your T tbs unified pro 32 video transmitter to your tbs crossfire or tracer tracer also does this to your receiver and the wiring diagram is shown here here we have the TBS Crossfire Nano Receiver, and this is the Nano Diversity. And here are the TX and RX pads on those receivers. Uh, the Tracer is exactly the same as the Nano. And here we have various Unify Pro32 video transmitters and where those wires need to go on them. Notice especially that the Pro32 Nano, there is a pad on the side of the Pro32 Nano. It's, it wasn't obvious to me when I first started trying to do this 
where the wire should go and that's where that that's where that uh, RX wire goes. Once you've got that wired up you need to go into your TBS Agent Lite Lua script. Your receiver does need to be powered up and bound and we'll go into the Na Crossfire Nano RX or whichever receiver you're working with and we're going to go to the output map section and what we need to see is that uh, output 3 and 4 are set to Crossfire RX and Crossfire TX. Once you've done that, there's one more thing that you need to do, and that is that you need to set the Unify Receiver's data protocol to be Crossfire instead of Smart Audio. So they come shipped from the factory set to use Smart Audio, and that's fine. But this uses Crossfire, and depending on what receiver you've got, it may be a little annoying to change it. This flowchart is on page five of the TBS Unify Pro 32 manual. I'll put a link down in the video description to that manual if you don't know where to find it. Uh, and it shows the menu structure for the TBS Unify uh, video transmitter. Uh, and it's showing that the sixth menu item in the menu is the data protocol option. Now I'm gonna show you how to change that using the button presses. If you have a Crossfire, uh, if you have a Unify video transmitter with a USB port on it, plug it into your computer, go into TBS Agent X, and you can make the change that way on your computer, and it's so much easier than doing it this way. So here is a Unify Pro 32 Nano, and I want you to see that there is a red and a blue LED. And if I press the button here, uh, if I press that button for three seconds, the LED will go out, and that is telling me that I have entered the menu. One, two, there. So now I am in the menu. Do you see the LEDs went out? And the menu uh, section that I'm in is indicated by the number of blinks of the red LED. So the red LED is gonna blink one time and that indicates that this is the channel that I'm on. And then the blue LED will indicate what channel I'm on. Don't worry, we're just gonna skip right through this. I'm gonna press that button again for about two seconds until the LED disappears and it will move me forward through the menu. Okay. Now I get two red blinks. I'm in menu item number two. That is the band. The first one was channel. Next one is band. Okay, fine. I'm going to do it again. Now I'm going to get three red blinks. That's the output power. And I don't actually know what options four and five are. I could look them up on that flow chart that I was just showing you. But we want to get to option number six. Six blinks of the red LED. One, two, three, four, five, uh, four blinks. One, two, three, four, five blinks. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six blinks of the red LED means that we are in the menu option that lets us change from smart audio to crossfire control. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make short single presses to change the option. And we wanna do that until we see two blinks of the blue LED. One, two, so I'm just gonna press that one time and count the blue blinks. I'm gonna get six red and one, two, three blue. I'm gonna press it again. I'm gonna get six red and one, two, three, four blue. Okay, I'm just gonna press it again. I'm gonna get six red, one blue. Okay, one more time. Six red and two blue. At this point, we need to leave the menu. And the way we do that is we hold that button down until the blue LED comes back on. Red disappears. Blue comes back on. And then I release and I have made the change. So to recap, you've wired up your video transmitter and your receiver to correctly. You have set your Crossfire receiver to output Crossfire TX and RX on pads three and four, and you have set your video transmitter to use Crossfire instead of Smart Audio. At that point, if you go in TBS Agent X, you should see your video transmitter down there, and you should be able to do all this wonderful stuff. And that's gonna do it for this video. If you have Crossfire and you're super frustrated with Betaflight VTX tables, and you just don't wanna deal with that nonsense, and you have all Unify video transmitters, then give this a try. And the My VTX feature, which automatically sets the video transmitter to your preferred settings, that to me is a total game changer. But 
If you're curious about what the other side is doing, take a look at my video about the way that Ghost implements it. For example, what happens when you power down your controller? Would you like your video transmitter to automatically power down if your controller isn't powered up? Ghost can do that. So check that video out and see what you think of the comparison. That's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.